Honestly, at this point, I am getting so confident in hardcore Minecraft that I decided to just go ahead and take a swim in lava. Ah, uh, help, help me. Ah, uh, I'm in lava. Ah, uh, oh no. Oh no, I'm dying. Ah. Uh... Okay, but other than that, we get up to a whole bunch in today's episode. We build an automatic wool farm, we build a house for Jeff, and a whole lot more antics. So if you go on to enjoy today's episode, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can keep following along with this series. Enjoy. And this video shout out is coming from YouTube. Thank you to this person, you're an absolute legend. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Today, we have a brand new episode of Hardcore Minecraft, so you know what that means. Brand new episode, it means it's time for us to add 100 more melons. Alright, so as I've said previously, at the start of every episode, we're going to be adding 100 more melons to this farm. But if you want to see how, how big this ends up growing in this series, make sure to subscribe and let's get into the rest of the video. Alright, so first thing I actually want to do today is head head into the nether. Well, what I want to actually start off with is I, I, I want to go visit the, um, the new nether biome that we're in. See if we can't, you know, collect some of the new blocks. Alright, so we might be messing around with some potions today, so it might be a good idea for us to pick up some of this soul sand here. Alright, now this is what it's all about. I want to explore out here a little bit. I do want to pick up some of this, this stuff, if I can. What's it called? The Crimson Stem. Alright, let's hope I don't get lost. These guys are not happy to see me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god, oh no. What have I done? Alright, you know what? Maybe it's time we went for a little bit of a flight in the nether. How about that? Alright, I don't really recognize where I am right now, but that's... that's cool. That's exactly what I'm after. Come here, stupid cubes. Other than that, I'm also looking for some soul sand, I guess. We can farm some more nether wart. What the hell? Get out of here. Oh, another big cube. Give me a cube. Yeet. That's 16 magma cream now. Hello. I'm kind of lost. I think I'm going to fly back. All right, I think I've got everything I'm going to need. Actually, no, quartz. I'm also going to need some quartz. Alright, so first things first, I want to start a bit of a nether wart farm. Um, I'm not really sure if nether wart needs light to grow or not, but you know, I'll just chuck these torches down here. Next thing we need is a pool of water. And a couple brewing stands. Alright, that makes our very ugly potion room. Alright, but obviously before we can make any potions, we're going to need some glass bottles, so let's go get some sand. Let's just tell me I have glass. Actually, I do have glass just laying around, don't I? There we go, that'll do. Six bottles, that's all we need for now. Alright, so step one to every potion is we need to fuel it up, and we need to add nether wart. We'll do that to both of these. Now, what two potions do I want to make? All right, so now this is all done. We've got our awkward potions. And the reason I grabbed this magma cream is because I actually want to make some potions with that. So that's the first thing we'll do. Magma cream to these. And also, I'll Stupid. do a puffer fish. Whoops. A puffer fish to these. And we'll see what that makes. All right, so they're all done. Potion of fire resistance we now have. And these ones gave us potions of water breathing, but they're not quite done. We'll add a bit of redstone to each. As you can see, the duration of these are at the moment only three minutes. Now that's done, eight minutes. Tell you what, potions are actually so cheap. I never really realized. But that did not cost us very much at all. We now have potions of fire resistance and potions of water breathing. All right now, obviously, I want to test this out in a controlled environment. I'm pretty sure fire resistance potions make you entirely resistant to fire and lava and stuff. But I'd be stupid to literally just go jump in the deep end. So let's see, we've got our fire resistance on. Legit, we're just we're just chilling in lava right now. Look at us. This is sick. All right, hang on, hang on. Let's go vibe in the nether real quick. Ah, uh, help, help me. Ah, uh, I'm in lava. Oh boy, do I love hardcore Minecraft. 
This is so cool. Oh, this is so stupid. I mean, what what is the real fire resistance potions are going to be so important to me whenever I'm exploring the nether from now on because they're just going to be a lifesaver. If I ever fall in lava, just pop one of these and what do you know? I can literally just be in lava for, you know, as long as this potion's on. This feels this feels wrong. All right, now it's time to test out our other potion. All right, so you know, typically you go underwater in Minecraft, you know, your bubbles, they go down, they go right down. And oh no, you, you start you start taking damage. Not good, right? Well, now you see, you drink your, your water breathing potion. You now have eight minutes of water breathing. Would you look at that? Your bubbles never go down. Um, but now that we've messed around with those two potions, let's go have a look what other potions we can make. All right, now potions of slow falling are now done. Let's add a bit of redstone to increase their duration. Our speed potions are done. Let's add some glowstone to actually, to make them level two. There you go, speed two. So now we've got our potions of slow falling and our potions of speed. First of all, this one should bring you no surprises. It just makes you fast as hell, which is cool. It's like you got a beacon on or whatever. I like it a lot. My FOV is going crazy right now. I'm sorry. I know you guys hate how high my FOV is, but geez, I'm fast. I am speed. All right, so that's the potion of speed. It's really not that useful, but it's just kind of cool to be able to run fast. Um, but now for a more exciting potion, we got the potion of slow falling, which I mean, does exactly what you would expect. It, it makes you fall slower. So this is this is my first actual test of it. So let's let's see how it goes. Wow, it it really does make you fall fall slow. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking on the moon. Oh, you can't really jump. I guess your jump is still kind of the same. You just fall really slow afterwards. Oh no, we're so high up. I hope I don't fall. Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> Wait, you actually kind of pick up speed with this, don't you? No. Look how many skeletons are over there. What the hell? All right, so that's a bunch of cool potions we've uh, tried out today. Um, obviously, there's a few more that you can do, but at the moment, that's all I felt like sharing. Now, what I actually want to move on to is a little bit more building. All right, so obviously, I picked up all this material in the nether earlier, and that was for good reason, because I wanted to try and use this crimson, these crimson planks for a build. To be honest, I thought there would be a lot more red than purple. So obviously at the end of the last episode, episode 8, we made a nice lovely home for Horsey over here. Are you happy Horsey? D do you like your home? <laughs> but to make it fair for all my animals in this world, I thought we'd better make a little bit of a, a house, a kennel for Jeff. And Jeff's kennel, Jeff's house is all done. You know, I did I did want it to be red in my mind, not purple. I just didn't realize that the wood was crimson, which is purple, not red, which is fine. It's whatever. I think it still looks pretty nice. Um, there's only one thing left to do now, which is actually go get Jeff and put him in there. Hey, Jeff. How you going, buddy? My name is Jeff. That's good. Let's go for a walk, you know? All right, Jeff, welcome to your new home. Come on, in you come. That's it. Look at him. He looks so happy. My name is Jeff. All right, and I think things are kind of starting to come come together around here. You know, we got Orsi in his house, Jeff in his house, my house here. And if I actually come up here and fly around for a bit, you can actually see it's starting to look pretty sick. All right, so the next project I actually want to do in this video is I want to set up a bit of a rainbow sheep farm. As some of you guys may know, in the last survival series I did, I made this this large like pit of sheep of all different colors and to get wool, it was all manual. It looked kind of nice, but it, it sucked. What I want to do differently this time around is I want to make a manual sheep farm. No, wait, I want to make an automatic sheep farm. I don't want to mess around too much because it's, it's pretty damn simple. You guys... You guys should know how this is done. You've got your observer facing into this block here, found a building block, some redstone, and then a dispenser facing inwards. Cheers in the middle. Some stained glass. All right, then you just gotta go underneath. There's a chest here. Hopper into the chest. Rail on top. Hopper with rail on top. And then now, any blocks that you drop in the middle of that thing, we get pulled through and put into this chest.
So that's already uh, one farm done. All this machine has to do is wait for that sheep to eat that grass block in the middle. The observer will uh, detect the change in the block, send a pulse of redstone to the shears. Shears will shear the sheep and we will get the wool. So if I can, this may take a while, but I'll watch, see if we can get it to happen. Oh, here it is. Perfect. It's working absolutely perfectly. And I won't show you guys me making all of these, but just know I'm going to make one of these for every color of wool you can get. Um, so I'll be back with future updates. 2,000 years later. All right. So as you can see here, majority of this is done or ready. You know, we've already started getting a bit of wool from our sheep here, but we're actually missing two of the dyes. We're missing green and brown dye, which is stopping us from making four of the colors. So now we're actually going on a bit of a journey to find those dyes. All right. And uh, here, here we go. So I didn't have much of a strategy other than just flying in one straight direction in hopes of eventually running into a desert or a jungle biome. So here's how that went for me. Well, 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 would you look at that? Found an ocean monument. Not that I'm uh, in any way ready to go look at it, but we know it exists. See, a lot of you guys always ask me for my seed and stuff. I don't know why the hell you would want it. The seed sucks. I've literally just flown in a straight line and seen like four different biomes, that's it. Hey, we found a coral reef. Still not what we're after. Like, oh, a mesa. Yes. Bro, I'm not even mad. I mean, this mesa is so far away, but I'd never find mesa biomes. All right, that's the coordinates. Dude, this mesa biome is huge. Wait a minute. Mesa biomes have cactus. I'm so silly. This is exactly what we needed. What? What? Yo, we found the mushroom biome before a jungle, but still, this is sick. All right, this is another biome we're gonna have to remember the coordinates to. <gasps> Mushrooms. Hey buddy, give me, give me some stew, nice. So on our first trip, we managed to tick off half of our goals by finding cactus, but we were yet to find a jungle biome in order to get cocoa beans. So I returned back home, repaired my elytra, and then got right back to the hunt for a jungle. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've uh, repaired my wings and all my tools and everything. Uh, so now it's time for us to head out. Last time we headed out in like that direction. So I think this time I'm gonna go more that way. Uh, we're still on the hunt for a jungle. Wait a minute, wait, 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 this is jungle, right? Dude, this is actually, why didn't we just go this way to start with? Okay, we're here, we're here, we're here. Wait, wait. I've oh. never seen a panda in Minecraft. This is cool, this is really cool. They eat bamboo. Hey, hey buddy, you want, you want some bamboo? Yeah, you. <gasps> oh my God, that is adorable, what the hell? I literally had no idea that was a thing. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at it. What the? What the? What? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I think we've found something cool. Let's see. Also, I'm very. I actually don't know what. What does this do? Oh. All right. We've managed to find some saddles. I'm gonna steal these sticky pistons for sure. All right, and just like that, we had everything we were going to need from the jungle and we could make our way home to finish this goddamn wool farm. <coughs> all right, now before I accidentally use all the cactus and cocoa bean we've just journeyed out to get, I'll plant it here conveniently and this way we should have an infinite supply. All right, but I'm actually gonna pinch. Oh, oh Lord, pinch a couple of these. All right, what the, what the hell guys? Not, not cool. I'm just here trying to make my colorful sheep farm. These pillager guys sneak up on me. It's what you get for messing with me. All right, now this is a momentous occasion. The last sheep. Up you come, bud. Up you come. There we go. Boom, and just like that, every colored sheep you could ask for. All 16 colors you have in Minecraft, all in automatic wool farms. So now whenever I'm in this area, these sheep will just passively get sheared and I'll just get more and more wool blocks. So yeah, that, that's, that's good to have. 
All right, so you guys were very quick to let me know about this shovel. Pretty much you guys were roasting me for having fortune three on the shovel. I didn't know, okay? I didn't know. You all said silk touch would be better. So I'm actually gonna disenchant this shovel today and re-enchant it. There you go. Silk Touch. Cool, I have a Silk Touch shovel now. Are you happy? And that's going to conclude this episode of Hardcore Minecraft. I must say I've really enjoyed doing a bunch of little projects in the last two episodes. I feel like I've been achieving a lot in this world. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because I'll be posting two videos just like this one every week. And also make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments down below on what projects I should do in this world next. Currently on my to-do list is to beat the weather and to build an iron farm. So let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers. What was that? You've just finished watching the video and you don't know what to watch anymore. Well, why not head over to my second channel, Wadtui, where I post wacky vlogs and stuff and awesome videos. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just self-promoting, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the video.